Hi, Mr. Trouble on here for Biology Bites. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna set up our first experiment. So um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a two liter bottle of pop, no, bot no pop, right? Pour it out, don't drink, it's not good for you. Um, if you want to follow you know, the internet instructions, the one I'll send you, they want two bottles, but I'm gonna show you how to get away with just one bottle. Um, I don't care how you make it, but somehow you're gonna have to have an ecosystem. And depending on what you have at home or whatever, um, there's many different ways you can do this. So it doesn't have to be done this way, but I'm going to show you the, the easiest way to make this. This ecosystem we're going to make today will be an aquatic ecosystem and a terrestrial ecosystem. And uh, we're going to first get it to grow. Um, I'm going to expect you to have some kind of growth in the bottom and the top. And then over time, we're going to manipulate some of the environmental um, uh, conditions and we're going to see if we can alter the ecosystem, change it in certain ways. So this will be an ongoing experiment. Um, you can take pictures as the days go on, uh, take notes, observations, and such. So anyway, you'll need a two-liter bottle of pop, empty bottle. You'll need some soil. I'll try to bring uh, some soil in for us and maybe a little bit of compost in case you want some decomposers. But all I got is just a little bit of soil here. Get some out from the yard or whatever. Okay, and you're gonna need um, a couple little rocks would be helpful, little gravel rocks, all right? And I got some seeds for you, but you can grow anything you want, but if you don't have any seeds at home, I'll get you some seeds. This one happens to be a marigolds, and um, they're, they're, they're older seeds, but they'll still germinate thanks to uh, Ace Hardware in Libertyville. Uh, they were able to give me some of those uh, seeds uh, before the season ended and um, oh and then you're going to need some water now this water here I just dug up from my pond and there's some aquatic animals you can see the little snails existing all over there um, I took this from one pond this is a producer you can put some of that guy in there you can put some of this blue green algae inside your actually blue green bacteria excuse me put a little bit of this in. And what this is gonna do is do photosynthesis, right? So I'll try to bring some of that in, but again, any pond or whatever. If you want a consumer, you can take one of the snails um, and that's gonna be, that's gonna consist of your bottom ecosystem. All right, uh, you're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna to need to be very careful. And I just took this out of my old shoes. You're gonna need something to wick the water up. All right, so this, you know, something that's gonna get wet, cottonish. And so I can just make a small cut with this and that, that you'll need as well, okay? Now I'll try to bring in some old shoelaces if I can find some. But the point is in a week or so when we start this, I'm gonna expect you to have the materials out there. And so that your mother, father, somebody doesn't get mad at me, have a covering down. This I got um, from, um, this old science lab, right? So it'll absorb and I'm not making a huge mess. Uh, and did I mention the scissors? Gonna need some scissors, all right? And then we're gonna try to be as careful as possible. So what you're gonna do is take that two liter bottle of, of um, soda. And I measured 12.5, doesn't have to be exact. And again, depending on whether you want, you to, if you got two, two of these bottles, even be better because we can make this part bigger and this part bigger, right? But again, assuming you only have one bottle, um, and this is the one thing I don't have extras of, I don't drink a lot of soda, so you, you're gonna have to find this soon, please. But uh, my wife measured it here at 12.5 centimeters, eh, around the label area. And we're gonna take that label off, and we're gonna cut it. Um, we're gonna cut it on this one. I know on some cases in the instructions, they have you drill a hole through the cap, and we're gonna use the cap like that. Again, I'm assuming maybe you don't have a drill, no worries, because we're just gonna use um, a coffee filter, right? And if you don't have coffee filter, I have plenty of those as well. But all I did is I poked the hole through the coffee filter, that's gonna fit in the top, and I'll show you that shortly. Anyway, so what we need to do, I think the best way to do this, notice I took the label off, try to scrape as much of this off as possible so you can see your observations. You can figure that out. But my wife marked it here about 12 centimeters, 12.5. 
And all I'm gonna do is let it fold and cut. Okay. Once I cut it, make one incision, then it shouldn't be much of a problem just going around. We're gonna cut that top right off. And use it. And use it. Yeah, we need the top. Now it wasn't, it wasn't perfect. We can straighten that up later. If it's sharp, we can put a little tape on it too. Anyway, that's gonna go like that, right? Uh, I guess the bottom doesn't even matter. It's just the top, we need to make it so it's not sharp. I should be able to get rid of that, don't you think? Okay, so this will be the top of my ecosystem. This will be where the water goes on the bottom. Make sense? All right, so then what you're gonna need to do uh, we made this one a little bit earlier to speed this up, is I took that, that rope or shoelace or whatever, and I put it in through the filter paper. Now, my wife did this one. She used a rubber band. Again, play with it. I'm looking for the best design. I want one that's going to last the longest. And so you'll have to play with this and, and adjust. The one thing I'm going to tell you in science is science is filled with failure. Failing is a good thing, right? We learn from our mistakes. But if you come up with the best ecosystem, I'm going to be asking you how you made yours. So don't feel like you have to follow this exactly, okay? But if you'll notice, we just put the rope through the filter paper, and I put a few rocks in the bottom, and that got the, 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 uh, the rope, the string, whatever you're using, to stay in the middle. What this is going to do is going to allow the water to suck up through the, through the rope so that the rope is always wet. And so the plants are always getting moisture on the top. Does that make sense? So all I did is I took the filter paper, poked a hole, filled it with a few rocks. We're gonna sit that in the water. Now this is just regular tap water, but again, I can get some pond water. Um, we can stick some of this algae in maybe. Again, you got a small ecosystem, so don't go crazy. But what that's gonna do is do photosynthesis. Right? And it should reproduce and grow. Oh, and I think I got you a snail in there as well. Do you only want that bottom part, that little bit? Oh, rope? Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. The bottom, you will adjust this, but it should stay in the water, right? We want it always being wet. And we can adjust that by, we'll have to moisten the seeds anyway on the top. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my rope in the center, and I'm going to pour my soil in on the top. Okay, probably need a little more soil, but you'll get the idea. This is going to keep the soil moist. Okay, the rope coming through the top. All right, so we have ecosystem, terrestrial ecosystem on top, land ecosystem. On the bottom, we're going to have our aquatic ecosystem. Now, I'm not going to open these right now because I'm going to save them for you guys, but I'm going to add a little more soil to that. I'll probably bring in some of my compost. You saw that the other day. This, this soil doesn't look that great, but with a little bit of fertilizer, remember the nitrogen, the carbon, the phosphorus, all that. Then we're going to put the seeds. You'll get your own set of instructions on there, how deep the seeds should go. And then we'll water the seeds on the top, right? Don't water them too much because, again, we don't want the water to go over the top. But it can, we, you know, I saved the space in here so that the water can go. The key is now we always want to make the rope in the water. Right? So if it does evaporate or whatever, we want to make sure that the rope is in the water. Right? And again, when we pour water on the top, well, I don't know, should we try pouring a little water on the top? Let's do that. So there's a little pond water. Nine minutes. We're at oh, nine. Nine minutes. Okay, I put my seeds in. Right? And then I'm just going to pour the water on the top. And again, I left some space there. So it should go through, ooh, filter paper. Maybe we'll have to use two filter papers. Oh no, Mr. Chubbeline, you made a mistake. That's okay, right? Eh, that might work. That might work. We can add more rocks. Again, the key is you're gonna come up with your design. Remember what you did, because I'm expecting this to be going for a long time. Um, you can keep one of these things. Well, we'll see how long, right? Some of you freshmen, maybe you can keep it to your to your senior in AP Biology. That would be cool. I have right? a question. Yes. 
Mississauga. What Shovel. came through there? Was that the bit, pond water or was that the soil? I think a little bit of soil came through. Okay. Well, here, let's see what the bottom looks like. How's it look down? Pond water is not clear. No, no, here. Is it? Oh. oh, there's a little bit of dirt. Yeah, and that'll settle down there, by the way. Okay. Yeah, that's good for the, the algae down there. Anyway, it's Biology Bites from Roy Treveline. You're going to need a two liter bottle of pop. If you got some kind of rope, otherwise I'm not going to have any shoes with any laces. Uh, I have seeds. I'll give you those on the first day. A couple little rocks. We have uh, that. And some pond water. Yeah. Um, hey, if you can, comment, like, and subscribe to BioBites. Roy Treveline. Thanks.